आप सुन रहे हैं समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया की साई न्यूज में ऑडियो बुलेटिन This is the Salaka Agency of India. Now listen to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday the 29th of December 2023 in the new series of Sign News. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is chairing the National Conference of Chief Secretaries in New Delhi on the 3rd and concluding day today. The Prime Minister chaired the meeting yesterday as well. This is the third such conference, the first being held in June 2022 in Dharamshala and the second in January this year in Delhi. Driven by the vision of the Prime Minister of putting the principle of cooperative federalism in action, the three-day National Conference of Chief Secretaries is being organized to encourage participative governance and partnership between the center and the state governments. The conference is witnessing participation of more than 200 people including representatives of the central government, chief secretaries, and other senior officials of all states and union territories. The conference is laying the ground for collaborative action to achieve a better quality of life for both rural and urban populations by strengthening the delivery mechanisms of government interventions. The key focus area of the conference is ease of living and the implementation of a common development agenda in partnership with the states. Apart from these, special sessions are also being held on cybersecurity, emerging challenges on artificial intelligence in governance. The center, Assam government and the United Liberation Front of Assam, ULFA, will sign a tripartite peace accord in Delhi this evening. The deal is intended to bring lasting peace in the northeast region. The memorandum of settlement will be signed in the presence of Union Home Minister Amit Shah. The government has sanctioned 29 road projects in Ladakh worth over 1170 crore rupees, encompassing state highways and major and other district roads. Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari informed that additionally around 182 crore rupees have been allocated for eight bridges under the Central Road and Infrastructure Fund scheme for the fiscal year 2023 to 24. The minister said that through these initiatives Ladakh will witness improved connectivity to its remote villages. Mr Gadkari added that the move is expected to stimulate economic activities particularly in agriculture and tourism contributing to the overall infrastructural development of Ladakh. The Supreme Court Collegium has recommended to the center the names of five judges to be appointed as chief justices of the high courts of Rajasthan, Punjab and Haryana, Guwahati, Allahabad and Jharkhand. The Collegium recommended the name of Justice Manindra Mohan Shrivastav for appointment as the chief justice of the Rajasthan High Court, Justice Shil Nagar of the Punjab and Haryana High Court, Vijay Bishnoi of the Guwahati High Court, Arun Bonsali of the Allahabad High Court and B.R. Sorangi of the Jharkhand High Court. The Supreme Court Collegium is headed by Chief Justice D. Y. Chandrachud and has Justices Sanjeev Khanna and B. R. Bhavai as members. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate, dedicate to the nation, and lay the foundation stone of several development projects worth over 15,700 crore rupees at Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh tomorrow. These include projects worth about 11,100 crore rupees for the development of Ayodhya and its surrounding areas, and projects worth about 4,600 crore rupees related to other projects across Uttar Pradesh. Talking about the inauguration of the new airport, Union Civil Aviation Minister Jayatu Adisha Sindhya said it will ensure that a large number of tourists visit Ram Temple in Ayodhya without any difficulty. The minister was talking to media this morning. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday the 29th of December 2023 in the new series of Sign News. The Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra is garnering an overwhelming response across the country. Under the Yatra, the information, education and communication vans with the aim to disseminate information about the central government's flagship schemes are traversing through the nook and corner of the country. In Maharashtra, the Yatra is reaching the last mile with people in large numbers availing the on-spot services being provided to them at camps organized at event sites. The Indian Meteorological Department (IMD) has forecast that dense to very dense fog conditions will continue across North India for the next 2-3 days. IMD senior scientist RK Janamani said the cold day conditions will persist in parts of Delhi, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir. He said a red alert for dense fog conditions has been issued for Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. These dense fog conditions have also heavily impacted transport services, severely affecting the flights and train operations that have been marred by multiple cancellations and delays. As per the Northern Railways, 11 trains arrived late in the national capital Delhi due to foggy conditions. The Rajdhani Express on the Delhi Howrah route is running late by 10 to 12 hours. Senior JDU leader and Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar was today elected as the party's national president. The decision was taken after the resignation of current party president Rajiv Ranjan Singh from the post during the JDU S national executive meeting in New Delhi today. 
Talking to media, party leader Shravan Kumar said, Rajiv Ranjan resigned from his post and proposed the name of JDU leader Nitish Kumar, which was accepted during the meeting. During the day-long meeting, the party will chalk out its strategy for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Meanwhile, BJP took a dig at Bihar Chief Minister saying, JDU is a regional party and Mr. Kumar was already the leader of the party and nothing will change if he again becomes the party president. Talking to Akashvani News, party spokesperson Shonawas Hussain said Mr. Kumar had left the MDA with the hope that he would become the candidate for the Prime Minister post but he could not get it. The Indian Navy today unveiled the new design of Admiral Zeppelets. The new design is in line with the announcement made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the Navy Day observed at Sindhudurg in Maharashtra earlier this month. The Indian Navy said that the octagon in the new design, drawn from the naval ensign and inspired by Raj Mudra of Katrapati Shivaji Maharaj, is a true reflection of the rich maritime heritage. The Indian Navy said that the adoption of the new design reaffirms its commitment to the two pillars of Prime Minister Modi's Panchpran pride on the country's heritage and removal of the mentality of slavery. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday the 29th of December, 2023 in the new series of Sign News. A delegation of Palestinian terror group Hamas is expected to arrive in Cairo today to discuss a ceasefire plan which could potentially end the war with Israel in Gaza. Sources close to Hamas say that a three-stage plan drafted by Egypt provides for renewable ceasefires, a staggered release of hostages held by Hamas in exchange for Palestinian prisoners in Israel, and ultimately a ceasefire to end the war sparked by the deadly the 7th of October attack on Israel. It also provides for a Palestinian government of technocrats after talks involving all Palestinian factions, which would be responsible for governing and rebuilding the post-war Gaza. 51 mineral exploration projects worth over 419 crore rupees have been approved this year by the National Mineral Exploration Trust. In a release, the Mines Ministry said that the Geological Survey of India has taken up a total of 358 mineral exploration projects this year. In a bid to strengthen the supply chain of critical minerals in the country, the government has launched the first auction process for 24 critical and strategic minerals. The key domestic share indices were trading lower in the afternoon session amid weak queues from global peers and selling in index heavyweights. The Sensex was down 220 points at 72,190, and the Nifty was down 60 points at 21,718 when reports last came in. In chess, Indian Grand Master Kornaru Humpy has clinched silver at the World Women Rapid Championships at Samarkand in Uzbekistan. She lost the title to her lower-ranked rival Anastasia Mikhailovna Bodnarok of Russia. In the open section, world number one, Norwegian Grandmaster Magnus Corson secured the crown of World Rapid Championships for a record fifth time after playing out a safe draw with India's R. Pragnananta. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has congratulated Kornaru Humpy for winning silver in the World Women Rapid Championships. Government has sanctioned 29 road projects in Ladakh worth over 1170 crore rupees for encompassing state highway, major and other district roads. Union Road, Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari informed that additionally, around 182 crore rupees has been allocated for eight bridges under the Central Road and Infrastructure Fund scheme for the fiscal year 2023-24. A thick layer of fog engulfed the national capital and NCR region on Friday morning, impacting flights and train operations. As for the Northern Railways, the 11 trains arrived late in Delhi due to foggy conditions. Mumbai CSTM Amritsar Express, Faraka Express, Brahmaputra Mail, MCTM Udhampa Delhi Sarai Rohila, and Jami Mail are among the trains that have arrived late. The Rajdhani Express on the Delhi Hoa route are running late by 10 to 12 hours. Meanwhile, the fog conditions at IGI Airport improved significantly as the lowest visibility was recorded at 150 meters, while the runway visual range, RVR, is at a range of 400 meters to 800 meters. As per the India Meteorological Department, IMD, maximum temperature was recorded at 21 degrees Celsius and minimum at 10.4 degrees Celsius today, for degrees above normal. You are listening to the new series of sign news of the Samakar Agency of India in the National Audio Bulletin of Friday the 29th of December, 2023. On Saturday, December 30th, 2023, we will once again appear with an audio bulletin. Also, do not forget to watch Linti Key Lantern on burning topics in Sign News at 7am daily. If you like these audio bulletins, then you must like, share and subscribe to them. Now we take your permission, Jay Hind.